like a minute or two. All right. Okay, okay, okay uh, tell me your name. I'm Doug Robb, and I live here in the Woodridge Apartments. All right, tell me what you saw today and what, what your experience has been today. Well, what we're seeing uh, is a much more involved presence by the code compliance yeah. people of the city of Austin. Uh, they're essentially yeah, doing uh, so what there. we hope they would do, which is come in and Thanks, look over the property, uh, the property uh, uh, extensively and, and find out the other violations and the other problems that the property has. Uh, so we feel finally like, you know, the city is, is really now starting to really get into the meat of addressing a lot of the problems that they first uncovered when they uh, did the original inspections when the balcony collapsed on May 16th. And how did you feel when you were talking? I saw you talking a lot to the code inspectors today. How did you feel about your conversations with them? I feel like they're very, uh, you know, very involved. You know, they want to deal with these problems. They want to make sure that they're aware of all the problems. Uh, part of the problem doing it in the middle of the day like this is that a lot of the residents are at work, and so they can't open their apartments. So my concern is that they may not see the, you know, number of multiple uh, violations that are all over the apartment complex. Uh, um, what's your ideal response? I mean, what would be the ideal outcome you'd like to see from today and from this whole process? Well, I'd just like to see that, you know, other apartment complexes that are substandard, and I would assume that in this neighborhood especially, there may be many, uh, are, you know, the property owners and the property management people are finally uh, forced to address these issues. You know, they're finally forced to bring these buildings up to code and, and, and put the kind of resources back into them that are necessary to get them uh, up to standard and that other people in Austin don't have to deal with this kind of problem. You know, because when you're a working class person and, you know, you're kind of living paycheck to paycheck, you really don't have time to deal with this stuff. You know, housing is a basic need of everybody and that's part of the biggest problem is that, you know, these people are being forced to deal with a housing issue that they thought they solved when they signed their lease and started paying their rent. And, you know, what we've seen here at Woodridge is a complete lack of communication on the part of Asset Plus Incorporated. They have not uh, communicated in a, an effective way with the residents. As a matter of fact, you won't see any official communication from Asset Plus anywhere in this apartment complex. The city has put up flyers. They put up descriptions of all the uh, results of their inspections and what the deficiencies of the buildings are so that any resident can walk up, pull out that report from a little plastic sleeve jacket that they posted on the building and you can read what the actual problems are with that specific building. So I feel like the city has done everything they can do to make the residents aware that, that, that they are available to look at these problems and to deal with them. But Asset Plus Management, has, in my estimation, has done an extremely bad job of communicating with the residents and helping the residents to understand where we are in the process and what their rights are and uh, you know what and, and give us reassurances that yes you're going to have a place to live and, and we're going to make sure that the problems are taken care of. So that's what you'd like next is to hear from Asset Plus and have them reassure you about your home. Yeah you know we'd like them to communicate with us and say okay you know we've worked with the city and here's the situation building by building you know here's the situation in your building you know I want to know what's happening in Building 6, because that's what directs, uh, directly affects me. I'm sure the people in Building 8 want to know what's directly affecting them. And just get some kind of assurance from them about what's happening. Now, obviously, if the city comes in and takes unilateral action about something, there's not much they can do, and I understand that. I understand that they're at the mercy of the city. But, you know, uh, from my experience, the problems in my individual apartment only became addressed when, when enough of us made... Uh, enough noise with the city compliance people and with the uh, and with the city of Austin for this to happen. Uh, essentially, I had been reporting a, an electrical problem in my apartment for over a year before they finally got in and fixed it. And I believe the only reason they really addressed the problem uh, was because of all the negative publicity. You know, they want to end this negative publicity and they want to get back underneath the media's radar on this. Okay, thanks for talking to me today, Doug. I appreciate it. Thank you all.